I am Seth Stein from Northwestern University, and uh, we're here at the St. Croix River on the border between Minnesota and Wisconsin. The river is cutting through a huge pile of basaltic rocks that are 1.1 billion years old. The reason we're interested in it is one of the most important processes in geology is the way continents split up to form new oceans. That's a very hard thing to study today, but here's a fossil example of it. 1.1 1 1 .1 billion years ago, North America tried to split down the middle. Huge amount of volcanic pile erupted, more than a million cubic kilometers of this rock here, and yet somehow it failed. So what we have is what's called a failed rift. So it's a preservation in time of the process that tries to split continents. Uh, so this is one of the few places where we can actually see into these rocks. For the other 2,000 kilometers over which this extends, most of it is buried under sediment. So that's traditionally studied with geophysical methods, gravity studies, with magnetic studies, and now with seismological studies. So EarthScope is providing the seismometers for a program that will be trying to draw images of what this rift, this failed rift, looks like underground. There was geophysical surveying being done of North American continent, and so magnetic data were routinely collected and gravity data were routinely collected, and when those were analyzed, there's this very, very linear, huge anomaly that showed up in both the magnetics and the gravity right on top of where this mid-continent rift um, was sitting and where these black rocks were sitting. And so the correlation was obvious between the basalts and the large gravity anomaly, um, and that basically outlined the mid-continent rift. What we're seeing here is a series of basalt flows. Basalt is a volcanic rock that uh, is very rich in iron and magnesium and very dense. That means it shows up beautifully on gravity maps of North America as a high gravity region. It shows up beautifully on the magnetic map of North America as heavily magnetized. So at this point there are about 20,000 feet of this stuff that were deposited in the mid-continent rift as it tried to split North America. Uh, and this, what we have here is a series of 10 flows stacked on top of each other. And uh, the river has cut through this and uh, let it, is letting us see what the rocks are actually here. After the glaciers melted back, after the last glaciation that peaked about 18,000 years ago, uh, a huge, a huge uh, body of ice melted and gave rise to a river that was much, much bigger than the present St. Croix River. So it cut this huge gorge through the flows here and left a bunch of features, including a bunch of giant potholes that we'll see. This is a little one that probably, when this very, very high-speed water was coming through, was carrying a lot of rocks and other stuff in it and, they, and ground whole big holes into this rock type. So we're seeing an enormous range of Earth history here, roughly almost a quarter of Earth history, uh, between things that were formed, formed within the last 10,000 years and rocks that were formed more than a billion years ago.